I'm going to give you the tutorial on how to make stitch lines with your baseball cap. Okay, so right here I have one of the templates on the screen. And what I'm going to need to do is select it and then under actions, I'm going to press duplicate. When I press duplicate, I'm going to also hit um, edit at the bottom or at the top and then over where it says cut I'm going to select that and I'm going to change the line type to draw right now it really doesn't matter but I have mine set on fine point black and then I'm going to push apply so now you'll have a draw line but I don't want the draw line. Okay, let me see. Well, I can use the draw line for the score. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to screenshot. Well, first I'm gonna do, leave this one over to the side and I'm gonna duplicate it. So I'm gonna go back to actions and duplicate. But this time I want to change, I want to go under edit and I want to change it, the line type to a score. So I'm going to select score and push apply. So now you see all the little lines there, that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to touch off the, off of, I'm going to deselect that. I'm going to make it a little bigger. But now I'm going to screenshot my page. Okay, so now I have the screenshot. I'm going to select it, and I only want this one. So I'm going to crop it so that it only has this one selected. But I also can, well, no, I'll just do it like this. So then I'll press done, and it'll save it to my photos. Okay, so now. I'm going to come down and I'm going to select upload, select from photo library. Okay, so now I'm going to clean it up. So I'm going to first use the eraser and I'm going to erase the parts that I don't want. Just like that. Okay, now I can go back and hit the remove, remove button and select. So now you see we're only left, let me get rid of this, we're only left with the line. Okay, so now we're going to hit next, next again, and then you're going to save it as a cut file. And I'm going to name this um, hat. Uh, score or let me see stitches okay and then I'm gonna press save so now I'm going to select that particular one and then I'm gonna go down to the bottom and press insert all right there we go so we have it right here so this is how I got the stitches. So I'm going to take this now and it's too small. So I'm going to pull it to make it bigger and I'm going to move it right where I want it, about there. Okay, then I'm going to come down and I'm going to select actions and duplicate. But this time I'm going to take it and hit edit and I'm going to press the horizontal so now that turned that stitch the other way so now we have a stitch going this way okay but now I don't know if you you would do the same thing with this one to get the score line to go straight so again I can get rid of this one now so again, I'm going to 
screenshot. Okay. Then I'm going to crop it down to the size I need. Oh, wait a minute. I got to cancel this one because I didn't. All right. I got to tap off of it. Screenshot. Again, come in and you can do this inside of the part where you upload, but just make it simpler. Then I press done, save the photos, upload, select from photo library. Okay. And then in here again, we're going to press remove, touch it, touch the inside because we don't need that. Okay, and then we can use the eraser. So I'm going to take the eraser to remove everything I don't need. Because all we need is that one line. Okay. Then we're going to press next. Next again. And then we'll name this hat score line or hat score. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's going to be a cut and we're going to press save. All right. So we'll select that one and insert. All right. So here is the line here. So now I can get rid of this. But it's facing the wrong way. So I have to hit the horizontal under edit and bring it over and make it bigger. And if I put it there, let's see, I need it a little bigger. That's too big. Oops, oops, move the wrong thing. Okay, I think that's about good. Okay, so now it's going to score. I need to tell it to score this one. So I'm going to go down where it says line type. And I'm going to change it from cut to score and press apply. So now that's a score line going across. And it's a little off so I can touch it and move it. That's like so. Okay. And now the important part is you're going to take everything and select it all and then you're going to go under actions and attach. All right. So now here's your piece. And this is how I got the score lines and the stitches. Okay, so the next part of the video will be me assembling the hat together. Okay, so this is the glue that I'm using, the art glitter glue. And I'm using, I use the white jelly roll 0.8 for the stitches okay so let me set this up so i can get started assembling the hat all right so first i need to bend all of the score lines So this one was the first one I made without the score lines. Okay. And this one was the second one I made when I first decided to do score lines and I only did one score. And then here is the project with both score lines. I mean both stitch lines. Okay, so this is the one we're going to assemble right now. Okay. So it's very important that you use a fine tip, whether it's a silicone one or a metal one. So I'm just going to just use a little glue on the end here. Just going across just a little. That's all it takes. Okay, so you see, not that, not that much glue is added. 
So then I'm going to take the next piece, the first piece, and you have to get the first piece correct or the rest of it will be messed up. So I'm going to line this up at the top so that the points meet. I'm using my finger in the back to lay down the scored pieces that I put glue on just to get it started. So right here, you can see I'm laying them down in the inside. So I'm giving that a few seconds to kind of adhere. Doesn't take too long. Then I'm going to slowly bend and press the other ones into position. Holding it for a second. Then I'm going to do the bottom and now I'm just using my fingers to kind of hold and guide, push everything into the place where it needs to be. This last one, okay. So you can see it's together. So I'll give this one a little time to adhere in the inside before I start the next one. All right, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so again, I'm going to take the glue and I'll just put just a dab on each one. It doesn't take a lot. The more you put, the longer it takes for the glue to activate or harden. So again, as you can see, it's just a little amount of glue. So I'm gonna take my next piece, go up to the top again, line it up, and so, line them. Like I said, you can't really see because I'm using my finger on the inside to push down the glue pieces in the inside to the next piece. Okay, so I'm trying to keep it straight. And like I said, it's very important to line up the top part. Okay, so now I'm going to bend and slowly add the other pieces to it under the bottom. Okay. okay. All right. So again, easy peasy. You can't use that much glue. Okay. And again, this is what the inside looks like. I have to really open this whole thing up to add the last panel and I don't want it to pop open. So this is what we have. We have one, two, three, four, five. And like I said, now it looks hard to get that sixth one in, but we can do it. Okay, so this is our last one. So I'm gonna take this piece, put my hand and push it back. So it's out the way. Going to come back with the glue again. Let's see. I'm glued. Okay. Add the glue. Okay. So again, not that much glue. All right, so last piece here. I'm gonna go up to the top again. I'm using my hand to press this back so it won't be in the way. And I'm going to line it up again to the top. I'm using my fingers in the inside to Press down the glue. Okay. 
Okay. Pressing it down, lining it up on that edge. Okay, can you see? I'm gonna have it going all the way to the top. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna let that let that sit for a second. I really like how the sit the stitch lines add a little more character to it. All right, so now I think that's long enough. So I'm going to come and bend the bottom in and kind of lay it in place by using my fingers underneath to attach the little pieces, the connecting pieces. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, it's looking good. Okay. Now we just have to do this piece right here. It's our last piece. But so far, so good. Okay. All right, so this is what we have. All right, so now our last piece. So. I had to make sure this one is make sure this one is dry so I need to pull this one out see I'm pulling it out and I'm putting it on top like this so what I found out it's easier for me to work in the inside to put the glue that is probably hard for you guys to see I have to put the glue in the inside. I'm holding it in a certain way. Okay. <clears throat> Can you see I added the glue to the inside? All right. So now, tricky part. So I'm going to have to pull it apart pull it apart and kind of bend it into the shape so this is where I'm using my fingers again under the bottom to push those pieces against there so they can stick okay I have probably about four of them stuck down in there. So I'm just waiting for that to kind of adhere some. Then I can do the bend. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, so I have these already in place. So now I'm going to Add to do a few more, bend and stick under the bottom. You can't see it because I'm using my fingers underneath. <clears throat> and now I'm going to finish and add the last one. So come on. The poppers. Okay. So I have it in place. Pull that in just a little. Alright. So now in the inside, you can see it's all stuck down. I don't know if you can see it or not. But now just let it squeeze. And now we have that part. This is what it looks like before we assemble it, the rest of the pieces together. Okay, so I'm going to move that to the side and I'll mold it a little more once all the glue dries. So the next thing we're going to do is the inside of the hat. 
this piece, these pieces. And you should have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So I didn't score these. I didn't make a score line for these, but um, I'm going to fold inward like this. And then these are going to, let's see, it's going to attach to there. So I'm trying to figure out which way do I need to score the, uh, okay. I think inward, so let's see. I think inward is the way, all right. So, I think I'll be doing it like this. Okay, and then connect this one to this one. Yeah, and then that's it. Okay, so connect this one to this one. This should be the inside of your hat. All right, so now we have this piece right here. It should fit in the inside of here. Let's see, yes. See, it fits in the inside. Okay. So what I do, make sure all of these is good going around. Okay, so now these tabs on the inside, I take my glue and I put glue. Let me do it, then I'll show you. Just put glue in the inside. Okay, you can see I put glue in the inside all the way around. So now I'm still gonna take this piece again and I'm going to lay it in there. Put it back in. And I'll use my fingers to go around to press the glue into the make sure. Oops. Wait, wait. Close. Okay, so now you should have the shape. So it's glued on the inside. Okay, so we have that piece. Now we have three pieces that we're just going to stack on top of each other. So. Take one, put them together, and line them up, and rub it in, rub it in. Last time I think I used my um, tape gun, I'll probably use that now. Last one, and I'll add this one. Alrighty. 
All right, I'm gonna use my brayer to make sure everything is stuck down. Okay, so now you should have that piece. Get that glue off, okay. You should have that piece now. All right, so this is going to go here. Okay. So now we're going to put this piece on. We're going to connect the box part to the base. So I'm going to add glue. Oh. Add glue to it. Okay, and I'm going to line it up, find the best one, let's see, I'm going to have to line it up to, let's see, the back on this side, yes, let's down, okay, and then I'm going to Push it in. Hoping I get everything. All right. All right, so that part is attached. It's lined up. All right. So now we need to add the brim part. So. I think I'm gonna add the use the tape again. The, use the. All right, let's see. Okay. And I'll add a little glue to the edges so it won't come up. Nice. All right. Now I'm gonna add this so that it slides in to there. And push it down. Alrighty. So now we have that piece in. Connect it. That's what we have so far. Alright, so with this piece here. I normally put, I use my jelly roll and I just make the stitches. So when I do that, let's see, when I make the stitches, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so here are the stitches that I put on. So I'm gonna bring the cap over and add glue to the bottom. Okay. And which one of my stem looking to see which one of my stitches is the best for the front. So this is the front. So I'm going to put this right at the top and I'm going to press down. Press down. Yeah, I'll probably be able to do the same thing from the bottom. Okay. So right now, this is what it looks like on the top. All right, so now let's see if it fits. Okay, okay. So the back part is there, and we're going to put it on. And this is what we have. So we have a finished hat all the way around and push down, push down. Okay, so you can see that it came out really nice with the stitches. So this is the blue one. And again, this is my black one. So there you have it. That's how you add stitches to um, a hat.
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and follow Marlika Land Designs on TikTok and also um, Instagram. See you soon. Bye.